Let's get serious. Habaki. What is going on, everybody? Nestle Lover XOX here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead: A New Frontier. We're on episode four, thicker than water. When community is threatened from within, Javier manages unlikely alliances for the safety of his loved ones. So the last time, as I remember, we were being held at gunpoint. We were going to get our asses kicked. Um, and then there was shooting, and it was bad, and then shit went down. Um, it was not good. Not good at all, as I recall. So, uh, yeah, going to be, uh, going to be fun. Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Clam! Yes. Oh. You, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. God. <laughs> Forgot I Joe did that. was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm, I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. We don't need your help. I'm begging you! <laughs> Fucking destroyed, dude. Hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. Knew I could count on you, brother. They were our family, David. How could you? Piece of shit! I'll give you family! Shots are fucking firing off. Shit is going down, fam. Shit is going down. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. You know, it always is. It always bloody is. Batter up. Oh, dude, I love those racing games at the arcade. Those are the best. Just legit the best. Good job, Hobby. Wow. Damn it. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? Uh oh. If you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh man, thank you. Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no, no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! <laughs> you gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Look at here. Boy. Holy cow. 
You just had to rub it in, didn't you? <laughs> Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking son, son of a bitch. bitch. Strike two. <laughs> Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. <laughs> you just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Oh, Garcia's on fire! <laughs> I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> you gotta shut up. Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Garcia takes one for the team. That's <laughs> gotta hurt. God damn it, Javi. I fucking warned you. Uh. I remember good. I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. God, the crowd is going wild. I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David, fucking get destroyed. David, knock off the tantrum. Grow up. You just can't resist making your little digs, can you? Once again, it's Javi the star thinking he's better than me. That's going to change. <laughs> What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. I'm just, I'm just sick of your attitude, David. You love to mock me, but you have no idea what I deal with. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had respect. Ah, you know what? Yeah, do what you need to do. The army could be good for you. I was expecting more of an argument. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. I'm not going to stand in your way. Well, all right then. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. About time you grew up. Come on. I want to get out of here now. What a dick bag. Fucking army people. Fucking army people, man. Oh god. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. That's why I haven't shot you already. Thanks, how I'm helping you. Jones making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them- And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. I know you Richmond folks are a little flexible when it comes to doing what's right. I don't buckle just because it's the easy thing to do. You talk a big game, but talk isn't going to get you out of this mess. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Ugh. This is bad. What are we going to do? I killed Lonnie. Christ, how could he turn on me like that? 
David, hey! I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. You're still a hero to Gabe. There's still a lot you can teach him. This world needs all the heroes it can find. That's my boy. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive, no matter what. You don't have to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. We can beat this. Together. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort. You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion. If you try to hurt David, I'm gonna be a huge problem. No, you'll just get yourself hurt. And people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. We both know the real danger here is you. I'm not sure what kind of person you imagine me to be, but it's not true. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter. I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. This place could have been something. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. Well, shit. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. Gotta MacGyver my way out of this motherfucker. All right. Let's see what we got. We got a chair. Hello, chair. No time to rest. Make a shitty one-liner about the chair. Got a lamp. That doesn't look very sturdy. Uh, does not look very sturdy. Can confirm. Grab the pipe. And uh. Mash A repeatedly. Now I have a pipe. And I'm just gonna bust the wall down. Never mind, I got a shower plug. Wall? Well, that's about the kind of day I'm having. Okay. Am I gonna fucking like craft some shit? Am I gonna become Chuck Green and just craft some kind of magical? Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. Ugh, nothing useful here.
that's not working. That's not gonna work. Exactly. So we have a pipe and a shower head. Can we do anything with them? What about this stool? Stool. But, uh, glad it even gives you the option to look at it. Been a long time since I hit the showers. Oh, and I could use one. Too bad there's no running water in here. Probably not the time. Okay, so... Clearly a hint. Maybe it's through the window, I mean. Do those boards come loose? I don't know. Do they? <coughs> nope. Nope. Just open the door. <sighs> Locked. No I'm not shit. getting out through here. Okay, so we clearly need to do something with... What, what am I, what am I fucking missing here? Oh. Now I can grab the stool? Ah. What? What? Oh my god, it's not happening. I've been looking everywhere for you. Gabe? Where'd they take Dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? I say repeatedly. Nice work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. Put the bars back at least. Come on, guy. I guess, like, or don't, that's fine. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way. Come on. Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. While they hide out. Is Kate doing okay? Yeah, she's fine. And Eleanor's watching her just in case. We should probably keep moving. I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Huh. Nice work. Thank you. They still got your dad, though. He's gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. I'm working on that. To tell you the truth, things don't look so good for him right now. What? Then we have to help him. We gotta meet up with the others first. All clear. Come on. Kate keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. Not after we found him again. I think she's right. We have to get out of here before it's too late. No! You never listen to me. This is important. Hold up.
Something's gone wrong here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. We'll fix it for us. When we get your dad back and our family back together. Okay. That's Eleanor's place. We made it. Great. Let's get in there. Oh, that was close. Yeah. This wasn't so busy before. What are they up to? Come on. Let's get inside. Wow, it's taking 20 minutes to get to this screen. In association with Skybound Entertainment. Walking Dead, the new frontier. setting up a stage for it and everything for that. It's an efficient use of resources right there. Still pissed at me? Just shut up while I'm hugging you. You know they don't want any of the rest of us like they want you. Would you be happy never seeing me again? So what about I just can't do this now. Oh. Hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh hey. <clears throat> Where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail. If you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. Joan lied. She's trying to remove David from power. Told you we couldn't trust him. I'm sorry about what's going on with David. But we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. We need a plan. We almost got caught last time, when we just made a run for it. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. 
Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. At least we're all still together. Look, this isn't a glass half full situation. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. We'll need to make sure we can defend ourselves. No matter what we do next, okay? Defend? That's all you're doing? I don't want to risk us losing anybody else. But you don't seem to mind that. They will be coming for us. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just... I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on! Shut the Good fuck luck. up! Stay frosty, gents. Stay frosty. What's that mean? Mike, stay cool, buddy. Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool? I've done this before, Javi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? I trust her enough for right now, and that's what's important. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone, other than you and Kate, Mariana. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak.
Ava said it'd be this way. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. Of course it is. No time to look for a key either. Have to do this the hard way. AKs. Let's go. Put these in your bag. Put the AKs in your bag, it's fine. 1911. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. <gasps> Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. Good job, guy. You did a great job. Get away from me! I say repeatedly. Ow! Smashing it repeatedly. Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my God. Look like I'm okay. I'm sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody ah. sees him. Fucking shithead. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility's right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Fuck's sake. Fucking Gabe, what a fuck up. There's always that one fuck up in the zombie apocalypse. Can they really hit target? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. 
He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Yeah, you'll do a great job. Do any job. of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, oh, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha uh ha, -huh. you'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! <sighs> wow, that guy is really out of it. Hashtag drugs. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Huh. No thanks. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. <sighs> Just pills. Not even gonna... Alright. Here we go. Nice. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Think I remember how to do this. Think. God damn it. Okay. Hold still. Try not to breathe. Not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you want it. Funny. I already felt like a mom. 
Even Ava would have to admit, I was a good mom to AJ. Flashback. Who's there? All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. You have to give AJ back, please. He needs me. I need him. That's just not gonna happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen. It's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. I can make it on my own, just like I always have. I don't need anybody else. I don't blame you. Just don't overestimate what you're actually capable of. For me, Staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. I know you said you'd get by on your own, but if you find yourself needing supplies, or just someone to talk to, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. 
I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. <sighs> God damn it. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. That was fast. There's not much to it. The wound was pretty clean. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Hey, look. Javier. Up. Thought you were rotting in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, She's a cruel bitch. There's a chance, but I don't know how good it is. They separated us, and I don't know where they took him. Figures. You... You were lucky, that's all. When Joan wants something, she... She gets it. Can't say the same for me. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want. About how... about how things panned out. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick too if I had listened to you, doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then? You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I... My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. to know. All right. I'll do it. Well, where is he? He's... He's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive.
Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you and your friends. You better hope she doesn't find you. I've got it. Huh. Finally. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Okay. Let's go get AJ. How diggity. Javi, you're back! And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Rob? Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. It's M4. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Actually, Lingard's dead. Oh my god. He asked me to help him end it, so I helped him. I... I had no idea things had gotten that bad for him. He was done. With all this. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure, but this is different. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated, from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match, the people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but... It's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? 
You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Shush. Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. Could you do me a favor and stop showing off for everybody? You're tough, okay? You can handle a lot of shit. You don't have to prove it all the goddamn time. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? That son of a bitch had it coming. If I had to, I'd do it again. You sure changed your tune quick. I thought keeping people alive was what mattered. Oh, God damn it! He had a gun on us, Gabe! Somebody was gonna die! I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? Excuse me. I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We could take care of ourselves. Fuck off. All of you. If you don't think I fucking agonized about it, then you can all go to hell. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Fuck you, bish. Clem, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Why do we even have still have Gabe? Why didn't I shoot Gabe in the head like two episodes ago? I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here.
Okay. Oh good, it's, it even says weak fence. And there's zombies on the other side of the weak fence. Ain't that, ain't that wonderful. It literally says the words. Gotta be careful. Fence. Any more muertos pushing? Those boards won't hold up. Looks like it moves too slow for an escape. Also, can I just point out Trip is a bitch? He's like a little bitch. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. There it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. Fuck's sake. Hell yeah. This graveyard shift is killing me. Oh, let me get some of that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Strong. Ready? Ready. Push, bitch. Ready. The wind chill factor starts now. Remember that wind chill factor? I used to think it was wind chill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. Just push the damn truck. All right? What do you think I'm doing? I'm doing all the work. You're the one trying to have a conversation here. <laughs> That's more like it. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Yeah. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Of course. Just try to hurry, okay? Oh, hello. Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. I say repeatedly. Wire cutter should help with this. No idea how to strip wires. I guess like that. So I have no idea which wires I need to to hotwire a car. Gotta connect the 
upgraded to the ignition. Is that how that works? I don't know which one's a battery. Oh, for fuck. Let there be light. Where's a couple of blocks away? This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. It really Where takes you back, it? doesn't it? It hurts too much to think about. Even now, it's like I can't get Mari out of my head sometimes. Her voice, how smart she was, how kind. I understand. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on, that's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. I guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? Well, okay, kind of amazing, it. isn't it? That in the middle of all this, they find time to flirt with each other. Guess it just goes to show. You stick two people together, something's going to happen between them. I'm just glad it's the good kind of something this time around. <laughs> It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet, but to feel something that intensely for another person. Is it bad if I kind of envy them? Those early days, before you get up the courage to say exactly what's on your mind? You never get those back, do you? No. No, you don't. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and... When that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and... Mari, both. You did the best you could, Kate. You kept this family alive as long as you possibly could. It counts for a lot. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. I think that's just, you know, who I am, you know? Uh, who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens 
I need you to know. Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. And I hope he can handle it. I know he's good under pressure, but this is different. Yeah. Here's hoping he doesn't completely flip out. Considering we're about to save his life, maybe he'll cut us a break. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We gotta get over there. Now. I'm going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I'm getting a little worried about Ava. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have happened. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. Go. Yeah. I don't know about the rest of you, but I didn't want to be here today. The people of Richmond deserve to be safe. David Garcia has to be punished for what he's done. Shit. We can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... She's lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. Try to keep your cool. Joan's smart, but we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't screw this up, Javi. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Fuck that, and fuck you, Joan. I don't have anything to say to someone who shit-talks my family. Don't make this harder on yourself, Javier. 
Get up here! Now! She knows we're here now. We might as well. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Harvey? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond, what you were trying to do, and he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me, he's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. She was the one who alerted us to David's plot against Lingard. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it. One way or the other. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me! You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend? Or your brother's lieutenant? Trip has it's to not live. A difficult decision He's invaluable. Son of a bitch. Javi, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not making David happy. But I respect you for sticking up for your own people. Shoot him. Wait! I said Trip should live! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. You can't do this! Fucking figures. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Joan. No! Fuck. No! Oh my god. They really shot him. Oh, god damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Javi. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for People that? Revolution. We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna handle this peacefully.
Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. If you don't do it, I fucking will. Uh. Let me out of here. I'll tear her apart. We're leaving. All of us. Right now. I didn't say you could go. Doesn't matter if you did. This is how it needs to happen. and I kill him. I swear I will. Go ahead and shoot then. I warned you. They can't be trusted. What the fuck? Come on, Dave. Don't do this. Sorry, little brother. She's not gonna win. I can't let her. Way to go. Fuck. That guy's dead. Right. Okay. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. He needs you, not me. Go on. Thanks. repeatedly That one coming. Kate! Yep. Coming zombies. It's gonna end. It is, isn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, Alright, did you promise that you would help Kate? Uh, 
93% of players, huh? Wow, okay. Jesus. Uh, you had 51.1% of players assisted in this. Okay. Two for two. Uh, 76 percent okay three for three oh okay okay that's how it's gonna be all right fuck fucking all right Oh, I already have Walking Dead Season 2. I already did a Let's Play on it. Fuck. Well, that was, uh... That was something. Uh, Alright, well, I guess that's the end of it. So, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. Fucking... Uh, episode 5 isn't out yet, but, uh, I guess, I guess we will be on episode 5 when, uh, whenever it comes out, so I will see you guys then, uh, fucking from the gallows, oh yeah, it makes sense now, because gallows, lol, alright, see you guys later, bye!